established so that citizens living in different localities around the city could speak directly to public officials on, on behalf of their constituents. Um, in our area of the city, which includes the, the Dodger Stadium area, very close to downtown, there is a land rush going on like there is all over Los Angeles, any area within a mile and a half of the center of downtown because the demographic patterns are beginning to shift. People no longer think that it's an advantage to live in the suburbs. They now want to live close to the center of the city. And so we are finding more and more uh, people uh, uh, with higher incomes uh, gravitating to our area. In the meantime, we have large numbers of people who have lived in our community, in some cases for generations, uh, families, working people. These constituents are being pushed out of accessible housing at an alarming rate. Uh, there was an article in the LA Times about a month ago indicating that, that an average of 13,000 people per month are being displaced out of housing in LA because of the pressures on the housing market. This is part of what is creating this homeless state of emergency in our community and in many other communities around the state. Uh, what we really need is some type of public policy statewide that requires localities to develop housing plans that ensure that we are not pushed into state of emergencies because people cannot access housing. Uh, about a year ago, not quite a year ago, uh, we did a, uh, a homeless uh, count in our area. At that time, we actually had to search for many of, of the homeless in our area. Now, in less than a year, we have massive numbers of people living under the freeways, living in the parks, living in, in any area where they can find a place to pitch a tent uh, uh, or whatever, simply to have a place to lay down at night. These are as well as many single men, families, women, elderly people, young people. I mean, it's the whole spectrum of, of, of a community that is being subjected to massive displacement. We need public policy that guarantees that people will have some access and requires localities to ensure that people have access to affordable housing. And if they don't have an income, then we need to make adequate provision that there is housing provided for that as well. Um, our state legislature, as well as our city council, and most of our elected government bodies have failed us. They have put a higher premium on the interests of those who make profits in real estate and other business pursuits than the interests of the people. And you know, this cannot continue indefinitely. People are tired. Look, I'm getting calls every other day from people in my area who are not against homeless people, but, but homeless people are crowding into our, our neighborhoods in ways that are unsafe, both for them and people in the neighborhood itself. They want a solution that doesn't penalize people for being homeless, but helps them. Thank you.